We will begin by looking at Rose's day dresses. Then we will transition into her evening dresses. And lastly, we will look at her nighttime wear and her undergarments. The film shows Rose wearing a total of six day dresses. The first being her cream and purple pinstriped afternoon suit. When looking at the hat, you can notice that it is double brimmed. This adds to the detail. You can see the large bow atop of the hat, which blends the whole ensemble together. There is also a hat pin right at the center of the bow. This is used to secure the hat in place, preventing it from blowing away. The hat pin matches Rose's understated jewelry, which all consist of amethysts and are set in gold. Rose wears cream-colored leather gloves with a purple velvet underlay. It may interest you to know that almost an exact replica of Rose's dress first appeared in a French magazine in 1912. We will now be looking at her white lace and deep khaki silk luncheon dress with a black and orange belt. The details of her dress are simply exquisite. The overlay of lace and the lace sleeves are something to be awed at. The orange and black belt add an unexpected element to this ensemble. Her jewelry consists of a topaz and gold drop necklace and small floral gold earrings. In the film, I do wish we could have seen this hat. With its orange flowers atop, it truly ties the outfit all together beautifully. Next, we will be taking a look at the yellow silk and white embroidered day dress. The upper part of the dress features beautiful gold embroidery around the shoulders and collar. The material is lifted and gathered not only in the back of the dress, but also slightly in the front. When it comes to her jewelry, she wears drop style earrings with amethyst stones set in gold. Her necklace is also set in gold with an amethyst stone and a pearl style drop. The earrings and necklace are accompanied by a gold bracelet. Make sure you don't miss the embroidery on the yellow silk, which embodies Japanese themes. Now, let's look at the light yellow embroidered lace breakfast dress. The dress contains floral motifs, which are seen throughout. The sheer lace overlay and green embroidery with small flowers adds a touch of whimsy. Here, she wears small pearl drop earrings and also a ribbon in her hair. Rose also wears a pair of cream and blue shoes. The blue matches the small details in her embroidered dress. Something else to take note of is this overlay of lace over the first sleeve. This overlay has additional lace and has beads on either side, the beads being pearls, which match her earrings perfectly. The blue velvet and silk tea gown is an audience favorite. Rose pairs her dress with a silk and embroidered shawl, a small handbag, and her white gloves. Her dress features floral motifs on the sides of the bodice and also at the bottom. The detail work shown on the cuffs of the sleeves is simply remarkable. Her jewelry consists of small pearl earrings, a gold necklace, and the infamous butterfly clip. Something lovely to look at is the tassels which conclude the velvet on the dress. They swing about just beautifully. It is important to note that the material gathered from the empire style waist is not perfectly down the center, but is towards the left of the back of the dress. The last day dress that Rose wears is her layered silk chiffon ombre dress with lace accents. Rose accompanies her dress with her pale pink wool coat with black piping detail. The many layers of silk chiffon allow the movement and free-flowing nature of the dress to be emphasized. From the empire waist, there is a gathering at the back of the dress, emphasizing vertical lines and creating even more detail. Although Rose is wearing this dress in the evening, it would have been worn during tea time at about 5 o'clock, as the style is known as a tea dress. I believe the reason Rose picked this dress to wear is because it is the most free-form style of dress she owns and can be worn without a heavy corset. For her jewelry, she wears a pair of small pearl drop earrings and also has removed her engagement ring. Now we will be looking at a total of four evening or dinner dresses. The first is her red silk dress with a black beaded overlay. The dress features a very high empire waist, 
where the top of the bodice is completely filled in with beading and rhinestones. The bottom of the dress features more cut beads in circular patterns and in drop form that glisten in the light. The nature of her dress is very lightweight, allowing for her movements to be even more emphasized, unlike the other three evening dresses that she wears. This one fits the scene perfectly. In terms of jewelry, Rose wears a matching set of earrings and a necklace, these being diamonds and emeralds, both in a drop style form. Rose's shoes are red velvet with black detailing. From a scene that was cut from the film, we can see that Rose's mesh part of her dress is clasped together at the bottom. In this scene, she gets upset and has a meltdown, which causes that part of the dress to be torn apart. The next dress that Rose wears is her yellow silk and black velvet dress with orange accents. Although this dress has very little screen time, it is a stunningly detailed ensemble with many notable features. The black beaded waistband catches the light and emphasizes a contrast between the light silk bodice and the dark features of the dress, helping the lovely orange rose in the center to stand out even more. Rose pairs her dress with accessories that are all dramatic and black in color, including her silk gloves, silk shawl, and silk embroidered handbag. What seems to be Rose's favorite evening look is her pink silk and sequined black mesh dress. The dress contains an underlay of pink silk, where the black mesh of the dress can then be layered on top of it. The mesh contains a numerous amount of beading and beautiful silver sequins. Rose wears a matching set of earrings and a necklace that contain diamonds and pearl drops. We can also see that Rose has added jewelry to her hair. She pairs her dress with white silk gloves and a small black handbag. The gloves will be removed during dinner, but otherwise they will stay on. The train of her dress is also an element that should not go unnoticed. The last dress we see Rose wearing is her white silk and sequined white mesh dress. This dress is an exact duplicate to the one prior, except it is done in all white, indicating that the pink and black mesh and sequined dress was Rose's favorite, and when she transcends to heaven, the dress is transformed to all white, symbolizing not only heaven, but that she is now reunited with Jack Dawson. Rose wears two diamond necklaces and diamond drop earrings. In her hair, there is a white ribbon which is braided throughout the back. Beneath Rose's many day dresses and evening dresses would have been her corset. Rose is seen in two nighttime outfits during her voyage on Titanic. The first being her lace nightgown and lace robe overlay. And the next being her black silk chiffon and lame kimono. Of all the day dresses that Rose wears, which one is your favorite? Mine is her white lace and deep khaki silk luncheon dress with a black and orange belt. I find this look to be the most inspiring and unexpected, while still being classic, elegant, and feminine. Now tell me, of all Rose's evening dresses, which one is your most favorite? Stylistically, my favorite is her pink silk and sequined black mesh dress but I believe that cinematically, the white counterpart of this dress is the most important.